hello, hello everyone. This is Lilith and welcome back to another one of my videos for all to new. Today I'm going to be sharing a layout I created with the wonderful new gradient cardstock packs. Now these papers are perfect for creating lovely embellishments and elements using our layered dies. So if you didn't know it, all to new besides having their layered stamps also has layering dies and these dies um, work on the same principle as our stamps but instead of stamping layers we are going to layer papers and create beautiful images. So what I have done is I have taken several papers um, that coordinate together from each pack and as you can see you get three greens and you have four purples and four aqua colors and four pink colors and I'm going to cut out all of my shapes using the layered rose die set. And what is perfect about these um, cardstock papers is that they are, have already been cut to a three inch a size, which means they fit perfectly in the mini blossom in, uh, emboss and die cut tool. So all you have to do is place uh, your dies on top and just roll it through your mas machine. Once you've got all your little pieces, you can start assembling them and sticking to the, them together with some glue. For the dies with more uh, detailed uh, parts, more intricate parts, what I usually do is take a piece of scrap paper and pop that on top of my die cut plates. That way it creates a little bit of extra pressure and the cuts just cu uh, it cuts all the way through. So now, now that I've got all my flower um, elements and my leaves, I'm just going to go and pick some pattern papers that will work well with the photo. And I'm using some papers from the uh, paper packs from All to New. And now I'm going to assemble my flowers. Now I could just work with the three layers, but instead of just using three layers, I'm going to go with two. So I'm not going to do the final outline. And I'm going to create different combinations of pink and aqua and turquoise and also create some leaves. And once I'm happy with how everything looks on my layout, I'm going to create two flower clusters, one in the bottom left hand corner and one in the top right hand corner. I can stick everything on my paper and add a title and some finishing elements. Um, for extra detail, I decided to go with my confetti punch and I cut out lots of little uh, confetti pieces uh, from the remaining pieces of cardstock. That way uh, nothing went to waste.
And I nearly forgot my favorite part of the layout, the butterflies. These are my favorite dies at the moment. It is the mix and match Mariposa die set and you get um, lots of butterflies and they are my favorite thing to put on my layouts. So I did cut a couple of out just to add a bit of movement and a bit of dimension to this layout. Thank you so much for joining me. If you've got any comments or any questions, just pop them in the comment section and don't forget to visit the all to new scrapbook blog for more information on all the products used in this video and we also have our blog hop going on at the moment for the new release so do hop on over to the blogs because you could win a, a fabulous prize thank you so much for joining me happy scrapping and i'll see you very soon bye bye